brother, it's Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, this was a very, very entertaining fight. I got to watch the fight two times. Um, unfortunately for this fight, like I do pretty much every fight, I didn't even score this fight because I didn't get to watch it live. I just got a bunch of text messages and notifications and messages sent to me about how great this fight was. Then I got to see the fight. I didn't even score. I didn't even want to score. I just wanted to sit back and enjoy a fight without thinking about it in regards of scoring it. It was just great action going back and forth. Just watching it without scoring it. I'm not uh, upset about the judges giving it to White. Could have went. It was so much back and forth action, man. Uh, wow. Um, you know, when I was breaking this fight down, I did my uh, fight breakdown. I said that I think is, uh one of his better punches is his left hook. And people in the comments section were trying to argue me down, you know, although I didn't respond, but about uh, how Chasur doesn't have a left hook, you know, and I'm like, uh, okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? But yesterday he threw it a lot and he landed it a lot on Dillian White. White was able to take him. He was giving, I mean, both guys were giving and taking. It was just a great fucking fight, man. Uh, Chasur had a, he, you know, he would press White against the ropes. It looked as if, though, that Chasur was hurting White more. It looked like White was showing the effect of Chisura's punches uh, a little bit more than vice versa. But again, it was back and forth good action. Then Dillian White would get off a 3-4 punch combination. I was impressed for 250-pound heavyweights like this to get in there and throw leather. Um, yes, they were tired at times, but that was what was so great about this fight. They were fighting when they were tired, giving and taking. Chisura would, you know, go under the shell a little bit and uh or he'll shell up a little bit and let White get off so he can get some energy. Um you would like for a guy to rest by using his jab, but when you're out there giving it all you got with power shots, everybody's human, especially big guys like this. You're gonna have to shield up or do something to take a break. And his version, Chisura's version of taking a break was just shielding up and letting White get off. And as soon as he reserved some of his energy, he came right back, giving it right back to Dillian White. They were pressing each other on the ropes. Man, it was a good fight. That was a great fight, man. Uh, I don't know what fight really to compare it to, but as far as action and, in my opinion, the way I view it, I mean, this is like Tua, Abea Buche, Larry Holmes, uh, Ken Norton. I'm not saying it was that significant of the fight as far as like a, a Norton versus Holmes for a world title, but just the action of the fight, the giving and taking, going back and forth. Great fight. Great fucking fight. Applause to both of them gentlemen. Um, after the fight, they touched gloves. They seemed as if they, you know, they were showing respect towards each other. When you go through something like that, you put it all on the line like that, everything beforehand is going to be forgotten, at least for that moment in the ring after the fight. Even during the fight, I forget which round it was, where they kind of at the end of the round just looked at each other like, I got respect for you, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you kind of you kind of said they gave each other that look like, yeah, showing respect. You know what I mean? And I like that, man. Uh, now, does this mean that they're always going to be cordial and they can start arguing next week, tomorrow, in two days, two hours from now? You know what I mean? But at least for that time in the ring, they show respect. I think after the fight, if I can remember correctly, I believe Chisura was a little bit upset by the decision. Um, but at the same time, he gave it all he got. And it was a close fight. So maybe in his mind, he felt, hey, man, I was landing the cleaner shots. We were giving and taking. But I can't get mad at him for feeling that way in the ring that he uh, could have won, won the fight. Both guys, you know, had the right to feel as if they won the fight at the very end. A draw would have been uh, cool. Um... It was just a great fight, man. I really don't, I'm speechless. There's really not much to say. One thing I can say is watch the fight if you haven't, you know what I mean? Or watch it again if you have. Good fight. Um, now, where do these guys go after this fight? Now, this was the WBC Eliminator. Um, now, I, I know that the Staverna Pavekin fight is taking place next weekend, another fight that I'm anticipating. Uh, and the winner of that is going to be set to fight Deontay Wilder as they're going to be the uh, mandatory. So this fight with Chasur and White was eliminator. Both of these guys are rated number 10 and number 11, respectively, by the uh, WBC. So there are some guys that are rated higher than them that uh, I'm curious if the WBC is going to get another eliminator type of bout going. Uh, Johan Duopa is rated number four. 
and my man Carlos Takam is rated number eight. They're going to fight in January for Duopa's uh, silver WBC title, a title that he won. He won that title when it was vacant against uh, my man Robert Hellenius, and that title was vacated by uh, Alexander Povetkin, all right? So I'm curious to see the WBC, if they're going to pair Dillian White with the winner out of Takam and Duopa, or are they going to get another eliminator? I think we need an eliminator here in the States, man. I wouldn't mind seeing number five, Brian Jennings, fight number seven, Gerald Washington. Um, Arthur Spilka is rated number six. You know what I mean? But he had his title shot just shit, some months ago against uh, Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? So it doesn't mean he you know, he can't uh, climb his way back up the ranks and get another title shot. But I'm just saying, though, core just for the WBC, though, I'd like to see Washington versus Jennings. You know what I mean? Um, I know Jennings has had a title shot against uh, Vladimir Klitschko, but I'm talking about just far as the WBC rankings. You know, if Spilka was to get in one of these eliminators and win and reestablish himself and get another title shot, that's great. You know what I mean? But I like to see that fight. Uh, Marius Wack is rated number nine. I know Wack is ordered by the EBU to fight the next available uh, opponent for the EBU title according to the EBU rankings. And I think the next available guy would be Ajit Kavayo, the German prospect, um, who I've done some videos on. So maybe Wok can fight Dillian White. You could put the EBU title on the line and make it another type of eliminator. I'm, I'm not sure what the WBC is going to do, what their official word is going to be. Uh, so I guess we'll see. I see David Price is rated number 14 by the WBC. Andre Redinko is rated number 15 by the WBC. He's the international silver champion. Um, he's rated number 15. I think him and Dillian White would be a good fight. Redinko comes to fight, comes to get it, likes to come forward. Um, in his fight, still, Redinko, he can make a fight where, you know, you get into either he gets cut badly or his opponents get cut badly. I remember the uh, Lucas Brown fight. I know he fought Huey Fury. Um, Malo, I mean, guys get in the head clashes when they fight Rodinko, but he comes to get it though. You know, smaller he heavyweight, but he comes to get it. Um, Andre Rarizic, Polish fighter, he is rated number where is he rated? Number thirteen. Jarrell Big Baby Miller is rated number twelve. So I'm not sure what the WBC is gonna do at the top. P uh Pavek is rated number one, Stavern's rated number two, so they're about to fight next week. Kirbat Pulev is rated number three, but I believe he is going to uh, wait out his title shot against whoever's going to have that IBF title. Um, I know Joshua, they're, they, uh, him and Klitschko was set, so the winner of that will have to uh, give P Pulev his uh, IBF title shot sooner or later, so I'm not sure, man. I guess we'll sit back and see. I'm just throwing out some ideas out there, but I would like to see... Uh, for the U.S. that we have uh, Jennings and uh, Gerald Washington fight in Eliminator, then the winner of that could fight Dillian White. I think that would be a great idea. You know, you still got Spilka right there. Spilka versus Dillian White would be a good fight. A lot of good fights to make looking at these WBC rankings. I, I, obviously, we have other uh, sanctioned bodies and other rankings. Some of these guys are rated in other sanctioned bodies. But just looking at the WBC and looking at their uh, Eliminator, and trying to make sense of all this. So I'm not sure what they're going to do. Um, I wouldn't be upset if they paired Dillian White with the Johan Duopa winner. Or the Johan Duopa Carlos Taco winner. I wouldn't be mad at that. But I think Gerald Washington and uh, Jennings should fight in Eliminator. I, re I really think that fight should happen. But you guys let me know what you think. What did you think about that fight last night? People were asking me was it fight of the year. For heavyweights, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go all on the limb because I haven't watched every single fight in every single division. So I'm not going to uh, say that. But as far as the heavyweights go, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I said that uh, a fight of the year candidate, on paper at least, would happen on December 10th. I said it would be uh, Ruiz versus Parker and it ended up being Chisura versus White. Crazy how that happened, man. But both guys came to get it. Great performance by both guys, man. Um, people are asking me, is is uh, Chisura, does he go to gatekeeper status now? Where you know where do I see him at? With Chisura, it's, you know, <sighs> tricky situation with, with Derek, man. I, I like Dale Boy. A uh, lot of his losses, I, what he has, like six six or seven losses, I believe. I'm thinking on top of my head. Um, a lot of them were split decisions, right? Like the Dillian White fight. One judge thought he won the fight. He lost the fight. That's the facts. He lost. 
Kirbet Pulev, one judge thought he won the fight, right? Uh, Robert Hellenius, um, one judge thought he won that fight. You know what I mean? So he's had some very competitive losses. You know what I mean? Uh, now, he's been beat handily before. Uh, David Hay knocked him out. Fury, that second fight, um, beat him ha handily. Some people say both fights were uh, easy work for Fury. Um, some fans believe that. Uh, Klitschko beat him handily, Vitaly. You know, but some of his losses, man, were, to some judges, debatable. And either, you know, and even to some fans, um... Where does this leave him? Uh, is he gatekeeper? People are asking me. I don't. I don't know, man. I, I really don't like putting that tag on people. Um, I guess we'll have to see. But with his age, he's came up short <clears throat> on the scorecards. Regardless of what one judge thought or what fans thought on the official scorecards, he's losing fights. You know what I mean? So I. So I guess to some degree. But I still think he'll make an interesting fight if he was to fight the level of a guy like a Christian Hammer, who was rated by the IBF. Um, could a guy like Izu Agano, up and coming prospect, could he beat Chisura? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if a guy like Tom Schwartz or Michiel Wallace, the German guys, can beat Derek Chisura. I'm not sure if Ajay Kabayel, another German prospect, can beat Derek Chisura. Um, I'm not sure Brian Jennings beat him. There's still some good competitive fights out there for Derek Chisura, man. I don't think we should put him on the back burner completely. But do I think Chisura beats Joshua? No. Do I think he beats Wilder? No. Do I think he beats Parker? No. Um, but Jasur is going to come to get it, especially when he's in shape. He, he will come to get it, and he will put it on the line, man. So I think there are some interesting fights out there. Me as a heavyweight fan, I love just these fights in general. I would love to see Jasur versus Rodinko. I think that would be an entertaining fight, you know what I mean, just based on their styles, you know. But um, as far as being a top five or do I think he can win a title, I don't think Jasur can win a title at this point. That's just my opinion. You know what I mean? But I do think there are some interesting fights out there. Like, I will, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing David Price versus Chisura. That's a damn interesting fight, right? On paper, that, that'd be an interesting fight. Some people may think, oh, nope, David Price too big, too long, too rangy. Uh, you know, he'll beat Chisura. Some people may think, hey, uh, he, he may press David Price and, um, you know, press him and put some pressure on him and be able to beat him. I'm not sure, but I do think there are some entertaining fights left out there for him. Um, who would you guys favor in Lucas Brown versus Derek Chisura? You know what I mean? Andy Ruiz versus Derek Chisura. You know, I'm not saying he'll win all these fights, but they'll be quite interesting fights in my opinion. But I'm rambling now, man. Just want to uh, do a little video today. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments section. What did you think about last night's fights? Um, let me know what you think in the comments section, man. I'm out.